Oh, god damn it. So, welcome to Trail Makers, a game that I covered on my own channel a while ago. And I've decided I'm going to do a little challenge in it. I, it was, I asked Sully to provide me with said challenge. And now I just need to find the perfect location for it. I think I may have just discovered it here. Right. So, uh, if you've not heard of Trailmakers, I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't. It's not overly well known. Basically, besiege, but with engines, and you can build stuff, and uh, it's not just restricted to a level. For example, here is a car that I made, and I will now drive that around like that. And it's quite nice, it's a little bit slippery, and it's got jets on the back, because of course it has. Uh, so. My challenge then. Is that going to stay there? No. No, it is not. My challenge for today is to ignore that uh, flame, flaming ring there, because I've already done the challenge associated with that, and build a ramp that will get me up to there. Or will I? No, I'm changing my challenge. <laughs> right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go here to probably this nice expansive stretch here. In fact, there's a spawn point, spawn point, so the perfect, perfect place for me to start my challenge. And what I'm going to do is build a ramp that is sufficiently good enough to get me to do one of the things you can do in this game which is when you have a vehicle uh, out and you're in the vehicle, you're driving, you can uh, hot switch between them. However, it's not the, not the most stable feature in the world. And uh, so I could press shift three to uh, change to that little jet that I didn't make and was uh, driving around. And then that's the sort of car I normally use. So I want to, because I can't do that on the ground, it won't let me. I want to build a ramp that will let me drive that up the ramp and then change it to that and then fly off in a perfectly spectacular fashion. That probably sounds easier than it might be. Because remember, I am incompetent. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently to how I've been doing Creative Corner up till now. I've been doing it sort of with a time lapse and whatever. But I feel like mixing it up. I'm going to try and do this video with, I don't know, a, a more, where am I? A more edited style. So how I used to do my Let's Plays on my own channel. So I'm going to try doing that. It might work. It might not work. It might be utter shite. But we'll see. The building on this isn't actually too bad. It's quite intuitive as a rule. It just sort of snaps on. It all uh, things change with angles. So some things doesn't matter where you put them, they'll end up being the same angle relative to what you've built. I don't want to rotate you right now. Thank you. I just want to uh, hey, <laughs> delete you like that. Uh, yeah, moderately intuitive. So, and then things like wheels, they will just come out whichever way you're orientated. So, anyway, back to my ramp. <laughs> this is this is gonna go terribly. I'm gonna gonna just preface this whole video with that. And also, if you press insert, it'll just copy it in the direction you have it. So if I go like that, that uh, yeah. Like that. There you go. See? Moderately intuitive. Oh, that's actually part of the game, that, <laughs> that bit of the audio. Thanks. Thanks, Backblaze. I fucking know. Please shut up. See, this is why, as a challenge on its own, this isn't necessarily 
the uh, the hardest challenge. However, you can trust me when I say I'm gonna make it difficult on myself <laughs> after I've done this first one. Right, so that's a ramp. Select it all, pop it on the ground somewhere. There we go. Yeah, just near the ground so that it stays there. So, that's that. What I'm actually going to do, just in case it goes wrong, I'm going to save it. It's also rotated itself, which is absolutely fabulous. And because of the way this is made, there's no bloody... Like, you can't rotate in fine angles. You can only do 90 degrees. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's just do that. And because I saved it, it's there. That'll do. There we go. 90 degree angle. Build it. So now I need to go... <sighs> Fine. So, there's my ramp. It's a lot... It's always a lot smaller than it seems when you're building it. And then, like that. Well, that went less well than I was expecting, actually. I'm going to be honest. Oh, oh dear, I'm breaking it. It's fine. Right. Let's try that again. So, there's the ramp. Should be nice and straight. Ha! Huh. Well, maybe this won't be so easy. So I believe my problem wasn't with the ramp. I believe my problem was with uh, the kind of car I was using. Thank you. And if I pop over here, I will explain. So let's build my car. That's a little drag race. Um, so because of the way that the suspension works on these, me might mean that it's just sort of flattening down and then it's sort of crapping into that bit there. So I do have a backup. Backup car there. You know, it's a bit basic. It's uh, a car I've used for a bit of a campaign, so it's really not stable. Still doesn't like me ramping. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, this is uh, not a stable car in any way, shape or form. Point that out. Whoa! Go. Right, back to the ramp, please. Just want to. Why is this difficult? This should be the easy one. Make another car. So. On we go. Why? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I build you and get rid of these aerodynamic blocks. Then that might work a bit better. Okay, so there's the nearest ram. I'm over over here, over here, over here. Like, oh, oh, oh! No. <laughs> However, I have slightly corrected its angle, which is nice. And I killed the chicken. Well, oh, well, I'm having for tea. <sighs> Why did that not work? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. No. In fact, that was even worse. Somehow even worse. Ground clearance is my issue. This, this can't go wrong. I've got truck wheels, which are sort of in between of uh, of the wheels I was using and the big monster truck wheels. Okay. To be honest, this might also make it more stable. Which would be lovely. Come on. 
Why didn't that work? Why does none of this work? Right, let's approach it slowly. It's very difficult in a car that's very light and has four of the most powerful engines on it. Okay, so that worked, but for some reason when you go quick, it just fucks itself. Right. Might just be the physics interactions get confused at that higher speed and it thinks it should, like, fuck up. I don't know. So if I go straight, completely straight, completely straight. I think it buggers up the physics like that. <laughs> this may not work. This, this challenge may... Yeah, it, it it's not going well. It's really not. Just to prove a point, by the way, here's a ramp. Big ass fucking ramp is put in the game. There we go. See, it can be done. It's just uh, the ramp that I made was utter shit. So let's find a better space for this to go. Right, so here's a car I made like a like at the start of the first uh, bit of the campaign. Looks like it's gonna be too wide, I think. Whoa! That was an interesting physics reaction! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Um Let's have an instant replay of that in slow motion. Doing that, I don't know. I can do this because of the way that the physics objects like that interact with each other doesn't seem conducive to making any sort of ramp. Right, last chance, do or die, let's do it with. Uh, let's do it with the tank! Actually, width-wise, that might work. <laughs> this is a mod that I found, by the way. I don't have the needed blocks. I don't know what the blocks that I apparently don't have are. I think you unlock, like, you unlock extra things in the campaign. Like, most of the things it... Ooh. There we go. Most of the things it, uh, it does are sort of, um cosmetic stuff, so you got you have all those sort of actual building functional blocks already unlocked. I think if I press uh that's just changed the camera. Uh ah, controls are up there, stupid me. Uh, Q Bloody hell. <laughs> that's a little bit a uh, little bit violent. Yeah if I press space I've got a cannon there. Cool. Anyway Try this with the tank, see if it works. Do or die! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it didn't work. So, that was Trailmakers. Um, it's a very good game uh, when, when you're not blowing up, which will be frequently, actually. But still, it's a very fun little game, and if you like things like the Siege or uh, Ro Roblox, Roblox, Robocraft, those kinds of games, this is definitely for you. It's in early access at the moment. It's got a campaign. I will say it is not too shabby at all. Let's turn it into a plane, and you can do things like that as well, which is quite, quite cool. So, yeah, I just like playing around this little sandbox map. It's pretty fun. I'm still rubbish at making things. Anyway, thanks for watching Creative Corner, and I'll see you next time for something else. Oh god! Oh, I, I lightly bounced!
Oh yeah.